uh, the C.R.H. Weck Institute of Forensic Science and Law is uh, going on its 12th year. It grew out of uh, an annual uh, continuing legal education program that the law school would do from time to time, uh, and the emphasis would be on science, forensics and science. Uh, and, uh, uh, and that actually was the predecessor of our annual conference. Now in, in this year, in, in 2009, we're in our ninth uh, annual conference. Uh, and uh, we also, uh, at that time, uh, talked about establishing and ultimately did establish a certificate program. And uh, the degree program that we uh, developed, uh, the curriculum for it, is a five-year program uh, and the student earns a master's of science degree. Uh, but he also earns, uh, the student will also earn a, uh, a bachelor's degree while they're uh, taking their uh, required classes for the master's program. Every year we have a, uh, uh, a symposium, a, uh, a conference. Uh, we refer to it as, our, as, a, as a national, a national a conference, national symposia, and, and the reason that we do is because we uh, have uh, nationally known individuals that come in and, and, and uh, uh, provide our presentations. Although we did have one that was, uh, we refer to as national and international because uh, it was on the uh, JFK assassination. And we had uh, uh, several individuals from Europe that literally came and, and provided uh, presentations. And those individuals that come in from uh, all over the country, uh, I think that this really has a significant impact on them and, and an impact on the university. To stay on the cutting edge, uh, we need to look at uh, equipment, instrumentation uh, that's available out there that is being utilized by uh, law enforcement, being utilized by uh, uh, various, even private companies uh, for examining evidence and for evaluating uh, evidence in, in criminal cases and make sure that our students have the background and the knowledge so that when they graduate from the program that they have uh, what's necessary to have a successful career and to get to be successfully employed. One of the projects is uh, where the students were, were, were able to establish a communication with a serial killer. Uh, this uh, individual had uh, killed uh, a number of women out in the uh, state of Washington and uh, was serving a life term and uh, they not only established a, uh, uh, a, a communication writing back and forth but they were also able to uh, have a conference call uh, for uh, approximately about an hour uh, with this individual as a class and uh, they uh, discussed a variety of things. Just recently Oprah had this guy's daughter on her show and just uh, a few weeks ago and, uh, and his daughter had written a book uh, about her life with her father. And so they had communicated, they, they uh, contacted us and, and asked us if we could provide them with some insight. Uh, and uh, because the students uh, uh, through their uh, communication with him and correspondence, uh, they had, they had a, a whole binder of letters that went back and forth, you know. It was quite, it was quite remarkable. The Institute of Forensic Science and Law, uh, it, it, I'm very, very proud to be associated with that because uh, one of the reasons, of course, is, is that the namesake, uh, Cyril H. Weck, uh, is a uh, uh, he's a, I, I look at him as the national treasure, uh, from the standpoint of, you know, he belongs to Pittsburgh, and uh, I'm very, very proud of the fact that he's associated with our program, associated with the law school for many years as a faculty member. And not only that, but the university itself has uh, emerged as one of the top tier 
uh, universities in, in, in the United States right now. So it makes me very proud to be part of uh, uh, this university and the schools within the university.